discover some interesting uses for variables by building a game. In this activity, you will design a hot potato game using two variables, loop until and randomness within bounds. Let's review the tools you will use to build these programs. Variables. A variable is a placeholder that you can assign a value to later. For example, you use the heading sensor as a variable to make an efficient square in the blocks one activity. A sensor is like a predefined variable. Its value is always tied to the sensor reading at a point in time. Now you will create variables to represent any value you want. You will discover some more advanced uses for variables in this activity and learn how two variables can interact with each other. Set block. The set block allows you to directly set the value of a variable after you define it. It can be dragged onto the canvas with a variable selected, set to a manual value, or set to ensure that a variable starts, repeats, or is modified in a certain way. Operators. Operators are math statements that change a number, like addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. There are more advanced operators like exponents or square root, too. Did you know that you can also operate on a variable? Remember, a variable is just a placeholder for a value. In the spinning top program, you normalize the color channel values of the LEDs based on the gyroscope yaw spin rate. Loop until. So far, you have used the loop and loop forever blocks. Now you will use a loop until, which repeats the logic within until an if-then statement is true. If you are writing a program to represent running the distance of a football field, you could say, loop my running steps until the distance equals 100 yards. That's loop until. Random within bounds. You have used randomness a little bit already by getting some sounds to play randomly in the toss game. But now you will need to use random within bounds to make a random number within a range to make the hot potato game unpredictable. Imagine you had a small stack of playing cards the two of spades through the ten of spades. If you close your eyes and pick a random card, you know it's going to be a spade between two and ten, not some other card in the deck. That's random within bounds. Continue to the next step to set up the program and create your first custom variables.